All right, here we go. Number 20 of our college algebra, homework number three in my lab math. It says, given the following function, find the vertex, determine whether there's a max or a min, and find the value, find the range, find the intervals on which the function is increasing and decreasing. Uh, now, what I want to point out real quick is that it didn't ask us to find the domain. And the reason is because that's too freaking easy for this problem. Just so you know, if your function is polynomial and a quadratic is definitely a polynomial, the domain is all real numbers. So any polynomial function will have a domain of all real numbers. And so that's probably why they didn't ask for it. But they did ask us to find a few things up here in the window. Let's get started. For the vertex of a quadratic, the formula is minus b over 2a, f of minus b over 2a, and we can see that a is 3 and b is negative 30. So our vertex is going to be minus negative 30 over 2 times 3. And then f of whatever that works out to be. Whatever this is. Got it? So this is the x-coordinate of the vertex. And this is the y-coordinate of the vertex. Whatever this x is, I'm going to plug it in to the function to get y. All right, so doing the math, two negatives make a plus. 3 times 2 is 6. 30 divided by 6 is 5. And then that tells me that I need to calculate f of 5. So that's going to be 3 times 5 squared. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm plugging 5 in for each x up here. Minus 30 times 5 plus 79. And then we're going to need to work all of that out. All of this stuff works out to give the y coordinate of the vertex. And to do that, I'm going to pull up my handy-dandy calculator and put that in, okay? So that's 3 times 5 squared minus 30 times 5 plus 79, 4. So that works out to be 4. There's the vertex. And if we come over here to our... My, mad, my lab math and put that in as an ordered pair, 5 comma 4. Bam, checks out. Next, determine whether the parabola has a maximum or a minimum and find the value. Okay, well look what it says. It says the parabola opens up or down. So all I have to do is determine whether it opens up or down. And that's freaking easy because that depends on the value of a, okay? If a is greater than zero, the parabola opens up. If a is less than zero, the parabola opens down. So what is our a? Our a is three, which is greater than zero, and so our parabola is gonna open up which means the vertex is going to be a low point or a minimum. It opens up, and that makes the vertex a minimum. Now, what is the minimum value? Well, it is the y-coordinate of the vertex. The minimum value is always the y-coordinate of the vertex. What is the range? Okay, well, if we come over here to our window and we know that our parabola opens up, let's just sketch a quick graph, okay? We know the vertex is at 5, 4, 
one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. And we know that our parabola opens up the range. Remember, the range are the values that y can be. And that always goes from bottom to top. So we see the lowest value that y can be is 4. And since the graph opens up, it means that uh, all of the y values from 4 to infinity are going to be included. So the range in interval notation is going to be everything from 4, and we use a bracket because the 4 is included. The 4 is actually a point on the graph and is included. So bracket 4 to infinity because it goes up forever. And an infinity always gets a parenthesis. The function is increasing on. Okay, so back up here to our graph. We can see that this side of the graph over here is increasing. Now, where does that start increasing? Well, it starts right here at 5. So from 5 to infinity, the function is increasing. On the other side, it's coming down. And that's going to be decreasing from negative infinity to 5. Okay, can you see that? It's going down from negative infinity up to this point, which is at 5. And then at 5, it starts going up. So here we go. Increasing from 5 to infinity. Check it. And decreasing is from negative infinity to 5. And I do want to point out that when you're doing increasing and decreasing, you never use a bracket. It's always a parenthesis every time, okay? Now, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comments section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.